5 Ways to Save Money in a Texas Divorce Divorces can be expensive. Some can be very expensive. Some things happen in a divorce that you can't control and others that you can. Listed below are 5 things you should be able to control that save you some money as you go through a divorce. All of these are based upon one simple idea. Time is money. Therefore, when paying an attorney by the hour, the more attorney time you can save, the more money you'll save yourself. Number 1. Respond to your attorney Your attorney is going to ask you for a great many things. Sometimes it's as simple as, are you available for a hearing two weeks from Thursday? Sometimes it's more complicated things, such as, I need copies of all your bank statements for the last few years. Whichever it is, ignoring the request will lead to your attorney possibly having to have several more conversations or send several more emails. They may have to let the opposing counsel and the court know about the status of whatever they seek. They may have to file a motion or seek an agreed deadline extension. All of that takes time and will ultimately cost you money. Responding wholly and quickly will help your attorney help you and save you money in the long run. Number 2. Don't fight over silly things Some things are worth fighting over. Like, are your children going to live near enough to you that you can have a meaningful relationship? And some aren't. Things like who will get the new TV and who will take the old one are just not worth fighting about. Fighting can mean that your attorney has to write emails or make calls repeatedly with both opposing counsel and the court as well as you. Very quickly, the cost of fighting over something that's not worth fighting over can get to be very high. When possible, the intelligent thing to do is make a business decision. Determine in advance how much various things are worth, then do the math on whether it's worth fighting over them. Number 3. Organize your evidence This one involves a rule of reason. Suppose you bring in all your bank statements, mixed with all of your receipts, mixed with all of your emails, all in one big box. In that case, someone will have to spend an enormous amount of time sorting those documents out. If you do it, you save attorney or legal assistance time. If not, you'll end up paying your lawyer or his staff. But the rule of reason part is this. Don't be so organized that you have all your documents and individual sheet protectors inside three ring binders. In all probability, your attorney will need to number and copy your documents. The time it takes to get the documents ready for the copy machine can get expensive if you've overdone it with the organizing. Number 4. Don't violate court orders If you're under a standing order, a temporary restraining order, temporary order, or a protective order, read the document or documents carefully. Know what you can do and what you can't. If you violate the orders, you can cause your attorney to have multiple conversations with opposing counsel and the court. Number 5. Recognize the realities of the system Courts each have their own ways of doing things. Some courts only allow 20 minutes per side for temporary orders hearings. Some allow all day. Some allow multiple days. Most courts don't like repetitive evidence. In fact, it's objectionable. One way that some people cost themselves an enormous amount of money is by not realizing that there are limits to the presentation of evidence. Your attorney will probably want to know if you have witnesses that can support your side of the case. When asked, give as many names as the attorney needs and prioritize your witnesses from most important to least. But you don't want to provide the lawyer with 25 names when he only wants 3 to 4 and then insist that he use all of them. Often, there's no way to use as much evidence as the client would like. Let your attorney advise you on the realities of the situation, then adjust to that. Don't expect reality to adjust to your desires or you'll cost yourself unnecessary legal fees. There you have it. Do these five simple things and you will almost certainly save yourself some money.